Welcome to ExpertDoc Smart Flows. Today we'll have a closer look at formatting our mappings. Some mappings, like currencies, numbers, and dates, need to be formatted. Let's first format a currency and open the settings of the mapping. We'll switch to the formatting tab, to the format, and set the type to currency. We'll choose a locale. A locale is a language region pair. Here the locale controls the decimal and thousand separators of the currency as they might be different for different languages. We'll choose a symbol. Set that to dollar. We'll choose the symbol location, the decimal places, and we'll use a thousand separator. Let's OK that. Now let's do the same for a number field. Open the settings. We switch to the format tab, set the format to number, choose the locale again, set the decimal places and use the thousand separator. If you want to save these settings, you can save them as an expert doc style so that you can reuse them at a later moment. For a quantity field, it might be best to set the decimal places to zero. So let's adjust that quickly. And OK. And finally, for a date, open the settings. For dates and times, we will have three options. Date, date time, and just the time. Let's first set it to date. Again, that gives us a, a locale. So here, the locale English will give me names of the week or names of the month in English. Would I switch that to Dutch, for in instance, I would see the names of the days and months in Dutch. I can set the, the type. So let's pick a nice little date type. Okay. Other formats here would include, for instance, date time, which will add the date or the time to the date. Or we can set it to time, which will just show the time. Over here, we have all kinds of options again. For my example, I'll set it to date with the day of the week and the month. And let's preview that. I got a formatted currency, a formatted number, and a formatted date, date time, and time. Now let's have a look at the duration. Duration is used to format a period, a length of time between two dates. In this example, we have a formula that calculates the amount of time between two dates. For more examples, you can have a look at the date time functions in our knowledge base. Now we can format that time as a duration. And here it will come out as a neat number of days. Other options include, of course, hours, days, months, and so on. Let's OK this and let's run a preview. As you can see, my period is now formatted perfectly as a number of days. Percentage is a bit tricky because it expects a percentage of 100, so 0.10 as a value. 
here we pass the whole number a decimal field so that will come out a bit weird it comes out as a thousand percent so sometimes you might have to format percentages as numbers an example of a custom number is to control the number of decimals In this case, we want to show a percentage as three digits with only one decimal. Let's open the settings. Here are three digits with one decimal. If there's more than one decimal, we'll show them, but never more than four. So the pound sign denotes an optional decimal. Custom date is pretty popular as you can make any combination of days, months, years, hours, minutes, and seconds. Here we want to format a date with two digits for the day, two digits for the month, and four for the year. You can create a pattern yourself or choose from one of the predefined ones. Capturing groups can be used to break up values. For instance, a 10-digit phone number can be broken up in three groups separated by dashes. For this, we'll use our unformatted fax number. So let's open the settings. And we'll break up our input in individual groups. Each period here denotes one digit of our original input. Then those three individual groups can be glued together again, and we can even add like a country code to it. Now let's have a preview. And that's all looking good. Okay, that's it for the different format types.